Hey, this is Rocket Brain Surgeon. Today we're looking at the XF4F3. This video is starring in Toledo. The XF4F3 is a Tier 4 light U.S. fighter. It's similar to the Corsair line in the U.S. tree in that it's a hybrid between the boom and zoom and turn and burn styles. This is a premium plane, which means it's very good at generating credits compared to other planes in its tier. Most of the premium planes are going to be a little bit undergunned, but they're going to have some other neat attributes which make up for it. The XF4F3 has 225 hit points, which means it's going to be a very forgiving plane even in Tier 5 or Tier 6 battles, as you can take a couple hits and still survive. It also allows you to go head-on where other planes, especially premium planes or US planes, are not able to go head-on. You can go head-on profitably, taking some damage and eliminating your opponent in the process. Here Antelato goes head-on using that big HP sink to profitably eliminate an enemy. Sure, it did a bunch of damage to him, but it did get an enemy off of the field. The guns are somewhat of a mixed bag. The effective range is roughly 400 meters. If you run your guns over that range, you're going to find that you don't deal a ton of damage. However, they are still the US line machine guns, which means they're going to have a solid spread to them, making it easier to hit planes. And because there are a lot of little guns, running incendiary ammo or armor piercing incendiary ammo is going to be very profitable for you because you're going to start a lot of fires and that greatly helps the damage output. The boost is only 10 seconds long, so the plane is not going to be the best climber in the world, however it does retain energy quite well. If you'll notice throughout the replay, Antelato does not touch the flaps when he's turning. He wants to keep his speed up so he can convert that speed into altitude whenever possible and keep up with his opponents. When he needs to turn, he pitches up into the vertical, turns in the vertical, and then re-dives on the enemy. Being a hybrid fighter, the XF4F3 is going to play a boom and zoom game against many opponents. There is a UK plane of Bristol in which he is diving from above, starts him on fire, and is easily able to get the kill. Resetting back to a high altitude, he's going to seek out his next target. One trick that he played when he dove on that last opponent was he cut the throttle to zero. When you cut the throttle, you recharge boost at a greater rate and keep your speed within a manageable level so you don't just whiz by your target. Using that re-trick to recharge the boost is going to make the 10 seconds of boost feel a lot more than it is. One of the downsides of a US plane is that it does not profitably go head to head with too terribly much. Here he's head to head with the blind arm F, he correctly avoids the blind arm and he pitches into the vertical. So now when he pulls back on the blind arm, the XF4F3 has enough speed to both keep up with it and the angle of being above with it helps with the gunnery. Here Antelato is making a deliberate choice not to engage the flaps and just turn inside the Blindheim and gun him down. He's instead doing a small high yo-yo to maintain his speed, altitude, and angle on the target. He then switches targets to a low health plane chasing a teammate, very deliberate action trying to save his teammate. I wouldn't mind keeping guns on the Blindheim, I also wouldn't have minded gunning down the low health target. However, he's playing very defensively. The second gunfire came at him. He escaped into the vertical and is able to work the enemy down, except for that collision. Because of his high energy in that last game, I think if he didn't collide, it's very easy to see him carrying that game. In this game, he does something not a lot of people do. Shoots a target in passing. No one says you have to stay on the same target forever, so he got a little gun work before he got into his main target, which was farther out of range, the BF-110C6. Antelato again shows good technique by not using the flaps here, maintaining his energy, both the altitude and his airspeed. Also, he's very diligent in cleaning the tails of his teammates as well as working his way down, picking high altitude targets and then working down. By doing that, you can greatly increase the time that you live because when you have higher energy than your opponents, it's difficult for them to engage you when they're at a much lower altitude. 
while it looks tempting to go get that enemy on the deck. And Toledo realizes he is all alone, and so he's traveling just a little bit of a distance, not only to get a higher altitude target, but to fight a target that's nearer teammates so he doesn't find himself going one on four. Energy management is going to be very key to success in the XF4, F3, being able to escape into the vertical when needed and being able to keep your speed up so you can chase down those targets that try to escape your short gun range. The XF4, F3 is a solid low cost credit earner. It earns roughly 30,000 credits for a decent game, 50,000 credits for a good game, and has a very low repair and ammo cost. A full loadout of armor piercing incendiary ammo will only run 4,500 credits per game. Overall, while I think the 110C6 is the tier 4 credit earner of choice, the XF4 F3 is a decent plane to fly and still does what you needed to do make them credits. Hope you enjoyed. Happy hunting.